Hi oh, guys, yeah. So this is just a, a quick entry uh, with regards to my ongoing series, um, discovering my uh, artistic traits. And um, one I've come across recently actually is um, pathological de uh, demand avoidance. That's P uh, what's known as PDA. Um, and I come across a chap on YouTube. I recommend you look at his channel. It's very. Very, very informative, very um, illuminating, called um, Harry Thompson. Um, I'll, I'll leave the link. I'll leave the link uh, to his channel below. Um, and essentially, what this is, is as he describes it, it's uh, an anxiety-driven need to be in control. Uh, it manifests itself basically in that if you ask uh, somebody who's got PDA to um, do something, they'll have a physiological reaction which will um, result in them actually not doing what you've asked them to do and perhaps do something else instead. Um, and I actually do know of at least one person uh, in my life that, that has this. Um, and yeah, I wasn't aware but when I came into uh, contact with Harry uh, by watching his YouTube channel, it, it, that was just them, you know, uh, PDA. Um, and I've read from different sources whether it's part of the autistic spectrum or not. Um, I personally believe that it is based on being somebody who's who's got autistic traits myself. Um, but I didn't really consider I had it. But but thinking about it today, um, I was thinking about it today. The only thing that I have which equates with that is and it is rather bizarre as well it's specifically one thing which is that for a while now I've realized I'm a very personal person um, but it, it irks me because it's like to the nth degree and it, it's not like in contrast with me being open and honest so if anybody asks me a question the information will come out um, and it's with regards to anything that's anything that is a subject as it's personalised to me. So like, for example, somebody can ask me about a subject. Yeah, it might be football. Um, but then if they personalise it to my technique, it, it it grates on me. And the more personal it would be to a not, uh, the average person, the average neuro neurotypical person, the more it makes me, you know, it gets, you know, it really, it really gets to me. So one of these things which will trigger me is... If you ask me about my family, you know, like my wife and stuff like that, it's like, no, <laughs> don't, don't do that. Yeah. Or like my religion as well, like my personal religious practices. Um, now, if I volunteer the information, that's a different thing. It doesn't seem to work that way, which lends the, uh, to lends itself to the notion that it is actually PDA that I've got, but it's, it's very specific. It's not general with regards to general things outside. If somebody asked me to do something, um, I can do it, um, but there's got to be a good reason. Um, I do remember I was in a job uh, situation um, a long time ago, and um, somebody asked me to empty, you know, just off the cuff to empty um, a bin. And it's like, no, ladies, I'm not doing that. You know, that's beneath me. I'm not. That's not my job to do that. And I refused to do it. And as a result of which, you know, it wasn't it wasn't seen very favourably. Um, so I, th I think there has to be good rationale. In other words, it has to follow a rule, yeah? Um, but as long as it does follow a rule, in other words, that it, it's, I think probably one of my rules is that it's actually beneficial and somebody else, can, somebody else can't do it um, and the person hasn't tried to, do, has tried to do it themselves, then that's fine. Um, so that's with regards to operations, but with regards to relationships, um, no, definitely not. Uh, I mean, now I've managed to, I think I've managed to work around it, um, but I still really, really don't like it. And I remember the most recent incident of that happening. There's one uh, person that I know, and he, he routinely does this. He's, he's like inept. I think he's probably on the autistic spectrum himself, especially by the way that he presents himself. He doesn't mean any harm, but he's very um, callous in the things that he says sometimes. He doesn't think about what he's saying. So... Um, he asked me I mean people do this generally because 
we live in England and there's lots of Muslims where I live. So he was asking me about um, Ramadan. Um, when is it? And I didn't like the question. I mean, one is because I'm at work anyway. So one of my rules is I don't discuss religion at work. Um, you know, if I'm such a wonderful person, you know, as a result of it, then it will shine through. Um, and that's all it should do, really. It's nobody's... People aren't really interested in it, per se. Um, but he specifically asked me, and it's like, you shouldn't have asked me that question. <laughs> and I really I really got uptight. Um, and I just, I was just flippant, I suppose you could say, you know. Um, I just said, no, I don't. I said, why would I know? You know, why are you asking me? Um so that's that's one of the most recent examples. And like the time before, and an example of the time before was like just out of the blue, this same person. I'm not really picking on him, but it's just that it's just a very good example because um, he, he he has this habit of asking things which are completely out of context or really it's inept, you know. And yes, he asked me of all people, right? Do you eat bacon sandwiches? And it's like, first of all, again, we were, you know, the situation, when we were in work, the situation was completely, it was a completely wrong situation to ask that question in any way. Um, but obviously everybody knows that Muslims don't eat pork or pork products or anything like that. So it was, um, it put me in a bit of a strange place, let, let me say. But I think, you know... On the basis that I actually do have PDA, and that was the situation in where that was like triggered, yeah, it, it certainly fit the profile. So, um, so yeah, I would I would say that definitely I do, but it's it's managed by lots of rules, and obviously uh, because of my Islam, it's a complete framework of rules. Anyway, it covers most things, so I can quickly th flick through about like twenty or fifty different rules, um, uh, cross reference them all. And then come out with the appropriate behaviour. I mean, usually I don't need to because it's so comprehensive anyway. There's usually situations for everything that could possibly happen. So I can quickly flick to that situation and just give the neurotypical uh, response that, you know, obviously it makes people smile and happy. Um, so, yeah, I would say on that basis, I mean, the jury's out. But um, because PDA, when you not when you can't manage it properly, um, it, it's, it can be... I won't use the, the SH word, but basically it can be um, not very nice either for you or for the people you're around. So, yeah, um, just uh, an update on, um, you know, my ongoing uh, discovery of my condition.